everyone, welcome to the Oak and Lamb YouTube channel. My name is Becca Oaks. I'm an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb. Today we are going to test out whether you can do sublimation with a household iron or not. Now, knowing what we know about sublimation here at Oak and Lamb, my guess is that it's not going to go very well, and here's why. When you use sublimation transfers or papers that you have printed off for sublimation and place them down. If you are applying heat multiple times, then likely the heat and pressure are not regulated in each section. That's an issue because the color will be darker in one spot and lighter in another. The other thing is that if you're overlapping the heat, then sometimes it creates a white area called shadowing. Um, we don't want that, but we're going to see if it works. So what I have today is a fun oak and lamb cut file with lots of colors so we can see what happens here. And we have a 100% polyester piece of a blanket. I've just kind of cut it off here so that we can use it. It's not meant to be a beautiful project. It's meant to be a test project. I have a easy press mat, so a heat resistant mat. I'm also going to be using some heat resistant tape so that the image doesn't move around on me. A Teflon sheet, and then I do just have a household iron set to the highest temperature. And so we are going to just flip this over, tape it down, put the Teflon sheet on and apply heat. Now when you're creating sublimated products, generally you will be using like a larger clamshell press or the large 10 by 12 easy press from Cricut. And the temperature that you use for it is 400 degrees and you generally leave the heat on for 50 to 60 seconds. So that's what we're going to be doing with this household iron today. And we're going to apply a decent amount of pressure like you would with the easy press or the clamshell press. This cute little cut file is available to all Oak and Lamb members. It is reversed right now, but you'll see it in a little bit. If you like cut files like this, check out our website, oakandlamb.com, and check out our membership where you get access to every single cut file that we launch for you all, along with a free commercial use license, and access to our private Facebook group where you get lots of inspiration from our flock, which is all the members of Oak and Lamb you will also get some amazing friendships. You'll acquire a lot of friendships there. Um, but if you want a group of crafty, amazing people, we're here for you. Now that all that has been said, let's just flip this over here, grab our heat resistant tape, and I'm just gonna tape down all four corners. I definitely don't want this to be a fail just because I have accidentally moved the transfer. May even put some here just for safe measure since it's such a large image. Now we'll apply our Teflon sheet and then we're going to apply heat in each section for 60 seconds. So now we're going to remove this here. And actually it didn't do too terribly. You can see a little bit of shadowing right here. I also wonder, it, it's kind of mucky right here a little bit, but on this particular material, it wouldn't really, really matter because it's sort of furry. I'm, I'm gonna kind of fluff it up here so you can get a better idea of what it would look like. So it doesn't look too, too terrible with that household iron. However, if I were using a material that were a garden flag or something like that, I don't think that the, uh, I don't think it would be as forgiving with that shadowing right there. Also, if you didn't notice, it took about six minutes, six to seven minutes to heat this area and it would only take 60 seconds. So if you were doing a lot of this, then you're going to be wasting a lot of time there. I hope you enjoyed this video. It did answer one of our most commonly asked questions when it comes to sublimation. 
If you like this video, you will love Oak and Lamb. We have member only content on a lot of different sublimation. One is, can I use regular copy paper instead of sublimation paper? So that one's really fun. We also give you a fun method for using sublimation on wood. So if you are an Oak and Lamb member, check those videos out. You will love them. If you're not a member and wanna see them, click the link below to join and join the craft industry's most fun and wonderful craft community, The Flock. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you here another day for another video.